This is Sarah Janice Brown, and I'm going to show you a collection of beautiful fun schooling books for uh, kindergarten, first, and second grade. And all of these are gender neutral. They're great for kids who struggle with dyslexia or other reading and writing problems. And I'm going to show you math, language arts, music, um, and uh, as well as science, geography, field trips, and dyslexia games. So all of these are gender neutral. They're also uh, secular journals. They just don't have any references to the Bible in them. And I think you're gonna love them. So let's take a look. So here are three core journals. This would be the first one that the child might use. It's for preschool, kindergarten, or first grade. And they would use it along with this one and this one. And then um, this one is really good for uh, second grade. And this one is also really good for second grade. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do gen. It was all gender neutral, but we do have a princess ballerina one on the same level. So besides that one, it's all, it's all gender neutral. Um, okay, so we have piano lessons for kids, so you can make sure they um, get their music lessons in, and you don't have to have a piano or a piano teacher. If you have a piano app or a keyboard, you can use this amazing Teach Your Child piano book, and it comes with a series of videos that teach the kids everything they need to know that's not in the book. This is the field trip journal so the kids can get to know their own community. This is the nature study outdoor science journal. It was designed for older kids, but we found that younger kids absolutely love this. But this is a journal that you're going to have to work in together with your child. And it's going to cover science, nature, and also geography. It's really wonderful. Um, here are two language arts uh, books. This one is a classical poetry collection, and this is Teach Your Child 100 Words to Read, Write, Spell, and Draw. And uh, they're both wonderful books, especially for kids who love animals and rhymes. And now I'm going to show you our math books for younger kids in order of how easy they are. This is when you're just beginning to count. This one is uh, beginner math. This one is comic book math, a fun schooling journal. This is when they're starting adding and subtracting. And for younger kids, you'll want to do it together a little bit older, say maybe age six. They might be able to do some of this on their own. This is foundational math skills and a wildlife coloring book. And then this one is good once they are reading a bit and writing a bit, but you can definitely do this together. And uh, I would say it's really good for first or second grade. So uh, this is the um, All About Ocean Creatures, and it covers spelling, science, math, reading, and art in one book. Now, this is really for older kids, but my five-year-old really loves it. So uh, this is a teach yourself how to draw book. And my five-year-old just loves it. Now, this is the Dyslexia Games series. It's Dyslexia Games Series A for five to eight-year-olds who struggle with learning how to read and write. If you have a child that just doesn't respond well to any of the, um, the curriculum you've been trying, this would be something wonderful to use with them. I'm also using this series with my kids who speak English as a second language, and it's been wonderful. So uh, these are just a few books that could work really well for your five, six, seven-year-old or your eight-year-old that's still struggling with reading and writing. And it's normal for eight-year-olds to study struggle with reading and writing. Some eight-year-olds just aren't ready. So uh, I hope you enjoy these and you can find them all at funschoolingbooks.com and dyslexiagames.com. Thanks so much.